Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all to the botany class. In today's class, we shall discuss about the first aspect of the economic botany, that is food plants. Right. Hoping that you are all safe and good at your health as well as your studies. We shall start with our class, that is about the food plants. Okay. In food plants, we are supposed to discuss about some of the cereals like uh, rice, wheat, sugar cane and some of the pulses like uh, Bengal gram and uh, pigeon pea. That is what we call uh, RR. Okay. So, firstly, we shall discuss about rice or uh, paddy. Okay. So, firstly, botanical name Oriza sativa, family Gramini or uh, Poesy. And there are uh, various vernacular names as per various languages. Okay. So, once you go through all this, you can get an idea of, okay, I remember, what do you call that in Kannada? Some of the characters. In the first four de decades, in our country has made a spectacular progress in rice production and productivity. Means, in last 40 years, 40 years, uh, the rice production is drastically increased in our country and there are uh, many high yielding and semi dwarf varieties of rice in our country okay main part of this chapter is to study origin and distribution means where this plants originated okay so origin india is the second largest producer of rice in the world and in india rice is grown practically in all the states but in mainly cultivated in the coastal areas of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Odisha and some parts of Karnataka. Okay. Means where there is more water, coastal areas are rich in growing the rice. And it is also known, grown in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab and Haryana. You can see the brief image of this uh, rice plant, paddy, you can't call it as rice. Okay. When you remove the husk, it is called rice. When it is covered with the husk or the cover, it is called a paddy, batta. Okay. Some of the botanical characters like the plant, since it is a monocot plant, it is having the fibrous root system. It is an annual grass like plant and the stem is hollow and the leaves with tunnel inflorescence. The inflorescence type is a panicle. Okay, and uh, there are uh, two types of uh, roots. One is the uh, primary root, uh, secondary root. Primary root, uh, fibrous root, bunch of roots. Secondary means the uh, adventitious roots uh, grow at the nodal regions, grown at the uh, lower nodes to give mechanical support. Okay, so coming to the uses, for what purpose the rice or paddy is used? Of course, you all know uh, rice is one of the major staple food in uh, most of the states of uh, India and uh, secondly as a byproduct the paddy husk is used as a fuel and for making uh, hard boots as a raw material for alcohol and uh, for fuel okay remember whatever cardboards you are using it is made with the help of uh, the paddy husk and the rice bran extracted and uh, rice bran oil are used in uh, bath preparations for treatment of uh, atopic dermatitis and uh, senile xeroderma means whatever the small pieces of rice uh, that will is used to extract some oil extract uh, some oils that oil is used in preparation of uh, some of the healthcare products okay and it is also used in preparation of some textile dyes and uh, lastly it is used as a cattle feed means the buffalo or cow used to be fed by using the paddy husk yes. other uses the edible fatty oil is obtained from the rice bran okay edible fatty oil is also extracted from the rice bran and uh, the paddy straw is used as a fodder for the animals and many more purposes once you go through the slides right we shall move on to the next crop that is wheat the botanical name is triticum species that is a 
triticum astivum most common species is a triticum astivum it is also belonging to the family poaceae or graminae okay and uh, there are many vernacular names or common names in hindi it is called gehu bengali goin like that as per the local languages it has got many vernacular names or common names okay description it is one of major cereals okay so all of you know that chapati is a most common food in all the states of india okay so it is one of the major cereal used as a food purpose right and uh, all cereals belong to the grass family and their characteristic fruit characteristics which pericarp remains completely fused with the seed coat means in all these cereals the fruit type is caryopsis remember the fruit type is a caryopsis where the pericarp is attached to the seed coat okay coming to the origin and distribution there are many species of wheat which together make up the genus triticum and most widely grown is a triticum astivum okay and uh, it is said that uh, uh it is grown firstly in south west asia okay means the origin is a south west asia okay some of the plant characteristics it is a annual herb with for about 0.6 to 1.5 meter high culms plant and it is differentiated to nodes and internodes means the wheat plant we can differentiate nodes and internodes okay coming to the uses wheat is a staple food in most part of the world means in all the countries of the world in all the states of our country india it is the one of the staple food okay and it is used for preparing a wheat flour uh, by using the flour we can make chapati etc okay so you prepare the chapati you prepare the bread prepare biscuits and many more uh, the wheat flakes puffed wheat uh, shredded wheats etc many more products will be prepared by using the wheat okay third uh, main cereal that is maize or corn okay botanically it is called jia maize it also belongs to the family poaceae okay so it has got many vernacular names or common names as per the languages once you go through this description there is very high demand of the maize plant since it is also one of the major human food also the poultry feed and also it is most commonly used in preparation of food stuffs like your biscuits or any other healthcare products okay and it is successfully grown in rainy winter areas okay if it is grown in rainy season it is called karif crop if it is crop uh, grown in winter it's called rabi if it is grown in uh, summer spring it's called jaid like that it can be grown in all the seasons okay it can be grown in all the seasons okay coming to the original distribution it is native to the americans native to the american but uh, it was introduced later into india by the portuguese during uh, 17th century often quoted means first grown in america but brought to india by the portugal people okay also it has grown towards atlantic arabian trade route also some of the characters like it is a annual herbaceous plant of the height 1 to 5 meter okay the stem is usually unbranched only for few tillers present and uh, many adventitious fibrous roots are developed from the lower nodes of the cul okay plant is having fibrous root but it also produces the stilt roots stilt roots means the the branching roots hanging roots from the lower nodes which give mechanical support for the plant to hold the balance okay and uh, coming to the uses it is rich in starch so it's called maize starch so maize starch is used in cosmetics and also used in toilet powders 
toilet papers etc and also used in a manufacture of the asbestos ceramics dyes plastics oil cloth linoleum etc and we can extract corn syrup that the corn syrup is used in a shoe polish glass in paper rayon and uh, tobacco industry etc okay and there are many more uses like a uh, corn sugar uh, and medically medically it is used as a astringent as a diuretic as a choleric etc okay and many more uh, chemicals can be extracted by various industrial products uh, industrial processes okay once you go through these names given here right the next one is the pulse okay means the dicot plants but uh, used majorly as a food okay one of the major pulse uh, pulse okay chickpea gram or bengal gram also called bengal gram botanically sizer rhytinum belong to the family fabaceae sub family fabaceae and uh, there are many vernacular names like uh, chana hindi barbara marathi chola bengali like that uh, there are various uh, common names or vernacular names for this okay once you go through all this description about this plant it is a variously known as gram or bengal gram or garbanzo garbanzo bean or is it twin bean etc and it's a very rich in a protein okay and uh, it is uh, used by various countries okay and it is uh, of two varieties one is larger light tan called kabuli and variously colored desi chippi and here the 75% of the world production of the smaller desi type okay one is of larger one is of smaller among this the smaller one is the most commonly grown in our country this is the plant image okay so this is the pod of the plant fruit oh, in this you can see one two or three seeds one two or maximum three seeds are found in this pod okay coming to origin distribution it is native is southwest asia and uh, it is the oldest pulse crop cultivated in asia and europe also in uh, egypt habris and uh, greeks okay and uh, occurrence of archaeological remains of chickpea dated back to 5450 bc in turkey means it was found in turkey earlier okay so also in a middle east country in india mediterranean area ethiopia and many more areas coming to india many states used to grow this like punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar rajasthan madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka all this the plant characters like it's a herbaceous annual plant and it is a uh, having imperipinately compound leaves with uh, 9 to 15 pairs of leaflets and the leaves on the whole plant covered with a uh, glandular hairs means hairs with some glands containing uh, oxalic acid and uh, malic acids okay and the uh, white to pinkish flowers are usually born slightly singly so you can see the plant and the dal okay dal means in one seed there will be two dal means two cotyledons okay let me do this gram is consumed in various forms namely dal besan flour crushed whole grain boiled parched grain or foliage as vegetable means many food stuffs will be prepared by using the the bengal gram okay and if it is germinated it will be having more medicinal values used as a prophylactic agent in deficient diseases like scurvy etc and soaked grain or husk are fed to the horses and cattle respectively means when the seed is soaked it becomes a best fodder for the cattle and the horses and it is having a highly medicinal properties like a diet for a atherosclerosis patient because it is rich in phosphonis content 
and it is a ingredient in a unani anti hypotensive drug like asmalu okay remember one of the medicinal practice that is a unani that it reduces hypertension hence it's called a hypertensive drug okay and in turkey country it is consumed from in the form of soups meals desserts and baby foods like that it has got many more uses in a food lastly one of the pulse that is pigeon pea or congo pea or arar right botanical name is kajanus kajan family fabaceae vernacular name many arar in hindi dogri bele in kannada etc description pigeon pea is the most important pulse crop in india and is probably native to africa and it was cultivated in egypt even before 2200 bc before christ now it is cultivated in tropical areas of the world uh, many more countries like uh, africa america australia india and west indies are uh, important pigeon pea producing countries okay and uh, there are many more description data about this uh, pigeon pea uh, some of the characters like uh, it is a uh, woody perennial living up to 3 to 4 years plant but usually it will be removed within 1 year and uh, shrub grows up to 0.6 to 3 meter height and the leaves are stipulate and trifoliate and the flowers are yellow to purple born in axillary corymbous racemes which form a terminal panicle you can see the plant here you can see the flower you can see the fruit and all the characters are visible in this uh, picture okay lastly the uses it is consumed extensively as dal and uh, the green pods are also used as vegetable and the pod husk and the grey seed husk are used as a uh, feed for uh, cattle and lastly the dry sticks are used for uh, thatching purpose means for making the fences for uh, the homes okay Uh, the deep roots improve physical properties of the soil okay means uses for the nature soil since the roots grow deep into the soil they increase physical properties of the soil or the soil holding and it reduces the soil erosion secondly the plant shed large amount of leaves which add organic matter to soil in madagascar the leaves are used for rearing silk worms not only the mulberry even the pigeon pea leaves are used for growing the mulberry plant lastly pigeon pea plant act as a wind barrier and are effective against soil erosion means the plant is grown around the smaller the crops and also since it holds the roots tightly holds the soil tightly it reduces the soil erosion okay so students this is enough for today's class we shall discuss about the sugar cane the production the uses the origin etc in the next class till that keep learning and also you better take a screenshot of all these slides better okay because it includes completely your class notes your exam preparation will be finished with these points only so better you write down these points or if possible take screenshots and then write down in your class work okay and uh, if any more questions please write into the comment box and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon see you in the next class till then take care